Good evening. Your nominees for best fact crime are Morgue, A Life and Death by Dr. Vincent DeMaio and Ron Francel, St. Martin's Press. The Lynching, The Epic Courtroom Battle That Brought Down the Klan by Lawrence Lemer, HarperCollins Publishers, William Morrow. Pretty Jane and the Viper of Kidbrook Lane, the true story of Victorian law and disorder, the unsolved murder that shocked Victorian England, Paul Thomas Murphy, Pegasus Books. While the city slept, a love lost to violence and a young man's descent into madness by Eli Sanders, Penguin Random House, Viking Books. The Wicked Boy, the Mystery of a Victorian Child Murderer by Kate Summerscale, Penguin Random House, Penguin Press. And the winner for Best Fact Crime is The Wicked Boy, The Mystery of a Victorian Child Murderer, Kate Summerscale. I told Miss Summerscale that I hoped she had some, some comments ready, and I'm not sure she did. <laughs> Congrats, Kate. Thank you. That's lovely. Um, yes, and I did reply that no, I didn't have any comments prepared. Um, I'm really amazed and honored Thank you. Uh, this was an incredibly moving book to write because it was about a 13-year-old boy in East London in 1895 who did something very, very bad and uh, towards the end of his life did something good. And I'm incredibly grateful to everyone at Penguin Press, but especially my editor, Ginny Smith, for seeing what it was that I was trying to do and also Hugely grateful to the Mystery Writers of America and the judges for liking it. Thank you. 